Well guys, I think I have enough time to make one last solar Sunday for a little while. Now, I'm going to be moving to California. And the day that this video is being uploaded, I'm actually flying out to California. I'm going to be getting on a flight at like 6 a.m. or whatever. Well, that'll probably mean that I'm not going to be doing many solar projects anytime soon. Which also means that if I don't charge these batteries, or, or I don't set up to where they're going to keep being charged, they might lose their charge and die on me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in this little shed over here, which used to house my welder. But I since moved my welder to my dad's garage, so it would be out of the elements. So I think this, this, this should work out pretty nicely. I'll be turning this from my welding shed to my battery shed. And I'll just have one solar panel on top. I know it's not in a very good position to get sunlight, but it should get a little bit of sunlight in the evening. Just enough to keep the batteries from dying. And I'll set up my little start, uh, solar charge controller inside there, and have all the batteries connected up in parallel. I don't know for sure if all the batteries will fit inside there, but whatever. We can see. I'm just going to start moving a couple of these batteries in there, and then I'll hook up the charge controller, which is over here. And then we can add the rest of the batteries in there afterwards. I'm pretty surprised. These all fit in here pretty nicely. And I screwed that up there. It's not really pulling any power. 12.6 volts. Panel is at 13.9. Of course it's over, it's an overcast day and it's pretty much evening now. But oh well. I, I duct tape these up so they won't con contact each other and cause trouble. And then I think I can just pick these up to close the door. There we go. And then we're just left with this battery. This is the battery I purchased for myself as like a little gift and celebration whenever I reached a thousand subscribers about early last year. Now I have some plans for this battery. I'm going to be using it for my upgraded electric lawn tractor whenever I build the new power system for that, new, the new motor controller. That's the one in here. Well, for this one, I didn't want to keep it hooked over to that. Just, I don't know, I just didn't really have room for it, and I felt like using the solar, other solar panel. So I'm going to connect up this old solar panel I have, which will be continually feeding about 100 milliamps of electricity into it during the day, and that should definitely keep it fully charged. If tomorrow's pretty sunny, I'll come back outside and see how these battery systems are doing. Should be pretty nice though. And I think even this solar panel being in a bad position like this will still produce enough power during the day to keep these batteries fully charged, because there's nothing draining them except for their self-discharge. Well, it's the next day and it's not much better. It's fucking weather. Let's go check the batteries. Ah, the panel's at 14.7 volts giving almost 0.1 of an amp. It's giving 0.1 of a kilowatt hour. It's more than I expected. And the battery's at 13.1 volts. And that's the part that matters. If it stays above 12.5 volts, I'm happy. I guess even with this bad weather, it's still got enough power to keep them alive. So that's pretty awesome.
And this one's already going. As you can see, it has the blue light, meaning it's charging. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to bother checking the voltage of that. I was hoping it would be sunny today, though. I am so sick and tired of this weather. It fucking sucks. But hey, this is the best time to leave Illinois, that's for sure. Because in California right now, it is warmer than the inside of my heated house. That is insane. I hate this weather. It always it sucks every year. And then the summer sucks too because it gets like 110 degrees. Because we have continental weather. Our, our weather isn't regulated by the ocean or anything like that. But over there, it's regulated by the ocean. So right now I should be, well, I should be boarding a plane around 6 in the morning or so. Or boarding a plane around 8 in the morning. And there should be a really nice view of the International Space Station going overhead at 6 at, at 6.17 a.m. So I might be able to catch that on the on the drive over there. That is if it's not cloudy like this. Ah well. There'll probably be maybe like a week long gap of any videos just while I try to get situated in California and get my my new job going okay. But who knows, I might be able to upload some quick videos. Over the past couple days, I've filmed like eight videos in, a, in only a couple days. I'm just getting a bunch of videos done, and then I'm just gonna, gonna upload them, and then like the ending of this week, because right now it's like Wednesday, and so that way I'll have like Wednesday till Sunday, just to not worry about YouTube, and just worry about packing stuff, because I have most of the stuff packed, but I just want to make sure and get everything right. Oh well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!